So, today I want to talk to you guys about something kind of serious. I, mean, I know I'm a jokester a little bit, but today's topic is actually really serious. Um, I don't think people really understand that when you have a chronic illness, so I have my senior grades, there is, I guess the best way for me to describe it would be shame associated with having chronic illness. So I definitely felt shame and guilt about my diagnosis and I feel like that led me into kind of a depression just revolving around the whole situation. So I was embarrassed that I had MG, not just embarrassed of the symptoms because those are very, very, very embarrassing. Like imagine talking to somebody and your tongue swells or your, your lid starts drooping and you're just praying that somebody doesn't notice or you're walking and you fall in front of like a group of people like that is very very embarrassing but beyond the embarrassment of having a symptom in front of someone or your uh or just a flare-up you know like <laughs> i can recall one time at work i was just minding my business eating some grapes my normal snack and i start choking in front of a room of people off a grape like just the different things that happen those are embarrassing yes but beyond that there is shame i feel like well, let me not say there is shame i me myself i felt ashamed of my diagnosis and i'm going to tell you why so i guess the best way for me to explain it would be that I didn't really understand, like, you know, why this was happening to me um, and what I did to deserve this uh, illness and what I did that prompted this to even come about. And so you look at everyone else, you know, living their best life, especially in this line of social media where everyone posts their highlight reel onto the social media, but not the bad parts. I remember just feeling like, why, why, just why me? And no one's ever going to understand. No one can relate to what's happening to me. And because of that shame, because I didn't feel like I would be accepted uh, regarding what was happening to me, I basically became very depressed and I hid myself, like I buried myself into my home. All I did was go to work and come home. Now, part of that was because that's all I had the energy to do, but the other part of that was I was hiding. Um, I have my own home. I could have invited people over, but I didn't want people to see me. I didn't want people to see how big I had gotten because of prednisone. I didn't want people to see my symptoms when I was flaring up. I didn't want people to see me trip up my stairs or just what had become of my life that um, my family was even talking about having someone come move in with me because they didn't think I could take care of myself on my own. Like, those are very, very hard pills to swallow when you're already dealing with having a chronic illness and it's stressful. Um, and especially when stress can be a possible trigger for you. Like there are so many levels to having a chronic illness and being exploited beyond just your normal symptoms and medications and side effects that people don't even realize. There's a whole level, a whole nother level of emotional and mental symptoms that you go through as a person with a chronic illness that is rarely ever, uh, rarely ever addressed. But I'm here to address it because I keep it real with y'all. So, yeah, like, I don't feel ashamed anymore. Like, yeah, I get embarrassed when I feel a symptom coming up. And I might, you know, get a little stressed or panicked. But for the most part, I have embraced my story. I've told my story so many times that I, I've broken the shame. Like, no one can point at me and say, oh uh your lid is drooping if i call it out first you know or no one can make me feel bad about not wanting to go out and eat when i tell people up front oh i go oh it's outside it's in the song oh i won't be there like i have beat shame by embracing 
my story and telling it my way. So if I have advice for other spoonies, other people with chronic illnesses, it would be to embrace your story. Accept it, embrace it, and um, live in it. Live in your truth, okay? Because no one else is going to understand it. Your family and your friends, they love you, but whether they realize it or not, their perception of you is what plays a part in the shame. You know, I have always been regarded that my family is very independent, very accomplished, very um, responsible. And so to, to then be put in a situation where I might not be able to be independent. You know, I worked very hard to be able to buy my own home, buy my own car, to provide for myself. And now I need somebody to come over and help me get in and out of the shower. And now someone's looking at me like I'm a dependent person or I'm needy. Like those things put shame upon you. You feel like a burden. It's it's almost like um, I'm not doing this on purpose or being ageist, but imagine being very independent your whole life. And then as you get older, you're no longer able to do the things that you want to do. I get why old people can sometimes be angry because they're no longer able to do the things they used to want to used to be able to do without assistance. And even though, you know, your family member might be coming over all well intentioned, it's embarrassing. It's demeaning. It is. You feel ashamed that this is what your life has come to. So I don't know what the fix is for everybody in terms of this. And maybe I'm the only person who's ever felt this way. If I am, then you know what? Whoop, child. <laughs> Call me a liar. But I'm telling y'all how I felt, and that's what's real for me. And I'm sure at least one other person can relate to how I feel. Um, so, again, my advice would be to accept what's going on with you. Release that feeling. Like, that feeling is valid. Your feelings are valid. However, because the only person who really knows how you feel and can really articulate what's going on is you and maybe another spoonie i would say talk about it with friends and family let them know at least one other person let them know how you feel let them know what's bothering you and see if they can be some type of middle ground maybe somebody doesn't need to live with you full time maybe they can just check on you once a week oh you need to bring some groceries i got your back let them know how to best support you so that you can still maintain your independence, still maintain those things that are important to you and release that shame because there is no shame in needing help. There is no shame in being sick. There is no shame in your story because on the other side of your story is a beautiful novel. Like I love to hear stories of people with chronic illnesses who have done, made such a great impact on the community, who have came and conquered, like, I be looking for them stories because there's a hell of stories on the internet about the tragedies. But I'm looking for the uh, happily ever after. It's mad corny. Dang, maybe Disney got me. I don't know. But that's all I have to say today, y'all. I'm surprised I made it through this video without crying. Y'all heard my voice cracking, but that's just a little bit of MG. But no, I was tearing up. It's a bit. But you know, real G's do real things. Um, so, yeah. That's all I wanted to say about just my personal experience with the shame of my chronic illness. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to make an effort to stop shaming myself, stop body shaming myself, stop, stop muscle shaming myself, stop, stop all types of shaming myself because for whatever reason, this plot twist has been put into my storyline. And it ain't gonna get me, it ain't taking me out. So, I also, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I made this shirt. Um, it says Strong, which is kind of a complete uh, play on the fact that I have a muscle weakness disorder. Um, and it also features a scripture, Deuteronomy 31 6. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, so, if you guys are spiritual, I, or read the Bible, I would encourage you to check out that scripture because it speaks directly to strength and how you're never alone and the big man upstairs, G.O.D., got your back. So, he got your back. I got your side. If you want to come talk, shoot me a comment.
comment down below shoot me an email i would love to connect with you guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time for the next topic whatever comes up to my mind later